What's up guys, it's Dalmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another major kill video. So it's been a while since we've done one of these, and this one is a little bit different. Uh, most of the ones we've done have been about lore, uh, but people said I should check this one out, that I should check out more uh, minis and how they're actually painted and some of the better paint jobs, and somebody suggested this video specifically. Now, I'm not sure if these are fan submissions or if these are ones he's done on his own, but this is some of the best damn miniature paint jobs you'll ever see by Major Kel. So link to the original video down below and let's jump into it. Guys and gal, there are many different ways to enjoy Warhammer. Some just love the lore, others really enjoy the tabletop, and some just froth its wide selection of Rule 34. Regardless of how you engage with the hobby, we can all appreciate a really high quality or creative paint job. Despite being kind of shit myself, I can see the beauty in how people paint their models. So I issued you guys and gals a challenge. Paint okay, any so of the major the minis with obscene quality or great creative effort and I would give you money. Pretty nice and straightforward. I'm also a bit of a um, slut for kit bashing, so offered up a cash prize for the best kit bash as well. The response was awesome. What's kit bash mean? I've never heard, uh, like I've, I've heard that term used before, but I've never understood what it meant. Awesome. After a shitload of tweets, emails, and Discord messages, I have been able to see tons of Major Kill Minis come to life, and I'm happy to say that I'm ready to give out some cash. Today, we're gonna band together and look at some kick-ass paint jobs before selecting the winners. Once again, winners are for the best paint job, most creative paint job, and the best kit bash. From memory, I think it was $500 for the best paint job, 250 for the most creative paint job and 250 for the best kit bash. But as I am very retarded, I may have gotten that wrong. <laughs> so if I have, then let me know in the comments below and I will make sure I that get- That reminds me of the Alex Jones meme. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, 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 I'm kind of retarded. <laughs> Give what I promised originally. Let's get into it. The Shark Daddy is hands down my most popular mini. After all, it's okay, pretty bloody non, pig, non and it looks one. dope as hell. Looks pretty bland. As such, I got some incredible paint jobs sent to me. Tom hit me with this very clean and nicely contrasted rendition that with an cool. awesome base. I like Not the, to the be glacial outdone. blue Then comes in hot here. with even more contrast and skulls. If dick size- I like the first one a bit more. Just like, I like the blue blades on the first one. Like, this one kind of has like the X's and stuff, but this one looks a little too blandish. Uh, I, like, it looks good. Like, it's painted well, but it, like, it just- I like the way the blue stands out more. It looks like glacial blue, like, you know, the uh, the light blue um, Gatorade. That's what it looks like. This was measured in how many skulls you had, then Ben would be unstoppable. Other great submissions include this one by Rod. A lot of the Shark Daddy feedback yeah, I, is I, that he is an absolute joy to paint. I like these light earth. blue ones. You can do a better. great paint job on him without needing to be some hectic, sweaty painter. Because of how much you guys froth him, I've decided to go balls to the walls and release the Shark Squad early for pre-orders. Coming in heavy firepower version, an axe version, and a pistol and claw version. Each one is $25 Australian, or if you want- So, so does he have his own miniature game, or is this just, uh, basically unlicensed Warhammer 40k miniatures for people that don't care? Because from what I've heard, most people don't care if you use unlicensed miniatures. Except if you go to like an actual games workshop event, then they do not allow that. And in fact, they get like really aggressive about it apparently. But I, I, I'm assuming these are for 40k, but they're just like unlicensed ones you can't use in like real tournaments. If you want to get them as a pack, you'll save 20%. If you ever wanted to build your own um, galactic shark army, then the Shark Squad and Shark Daddy is the place to start. Those Shark Daddies were great, but there are even better paint jobs I'm about to show ya. Mike. Hunt, I have to say it like that because otherwise YouTube will think I've just said the C word and demonetized <laughs> this video so hard it won't even appear in your sub Man, that, those look really Michael good. Michael banged out an incredible job on the Major Kill team. I, I like the way he did the flames because that's like such a hard thing to paint is good flames, right? Like without actually having flames. So that was really well done. Using metal colors, edge highlighting, bone and fire effects. He really did the models justice. Tom once again comes in hot and delivers an immaculate Those look really paint good job too. with the Major Kill one-handed Marine, as well as the Terminator Lord. Literally flawless, and the freehand eyes he added on look incredible. Like, I use these ones as the promo images for the models because it's so damn good. One model that I honestly reckon is underrated is the Major Kill Chaplain, so I was glad that he was done justice after all. One of the first submissions I got from him was from John, who used an unconventional but stunning paint job to put him into the role as the chaplain of Looks the Angry good. Marines. The quality doesn't stop there. 
Nyakai. That's not how you say it, but that's what I'm rolling with. I delivered a stunning Dark Angels rendition of the model, whilst Patrice used his for the Space Wolves. You can tell, because a Thousand Sun Boy got absolutely fucked up by him. Just quietly, <laughs> love the base work everyone has been putting in. It really brings the model to the next level. And of course, Tom once again knocks it out of the park by converting his chaplain into a Blood Angel. Even the absolutely fucked up green skin on his base looks well done. I want to take this time to uh, do a very loud- Man, the, the base modifications that people do on these are absolutely insane. I saw one post, I think it was on Twitter or something, and it was it was uh, just a, po a post that a mutual of mine had liked. And it was, I, it wasn't for Warhammer, it was for some other mini-series, I can't remember what it was. Um, but they won like an official contest from whichever company it was, and the dude had taken this one mini, and he'd, t he'd taken one mini and then he took another one. And he modified the the one that like the contest was for, so that the the one that he was basically the one is holding a, the body of the other one in its hand, like crushing it. It looks so cool. Now shout out to two people who went above and beyond. Firstly, Johnny, who must have printed and oh, very God, painted a number of Magic Girl minis purely so we could make this super shitty comic strip. Like <laughs> what the hell is? <laughs> Good day, Major Smith. Can you put Timmy's skull here into this battle axe scepter? No worries. It's for Major Chaplin, uh, so he can sort out your payment. He'll pro oh, okay, I'm reading this like anime. I guess I should start over here. God damn it, Timmy. Uh, Mr. Cyclops, would you mind spitting out Timmy's skull? <laughs> what is <laughs> the fucking My Little Pony? The thing is, whenever I see something like this online, I can't tell if somebody's trolling or if like they're actually just this socially retarded that you can never tell on the internet. People are so fucking weird that whenever I see something like this, I don't know if this is like this guy just making a joke and he thinks this is fucking hilarious, in which case it is, or if he's like dead ass, like, you know, this is the coolest fucking thing I've ever done, bro. <laughs> like it just, uh. Easily did the best rendition of the now gone fantasy night, and his chaplain was incredible as well. The fucking and the my little big pony. shout out is to Zachary. Bro, what the actual fuck? That looks Man so good. Man paints a great magical model, then chucks him on a huge fuck off warp abomination, and then takes epic photos of it. I honestly can't tell if the warp spawn was put together for the magic kill mini or that not. That looks so but good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. This is sick. So let's pick a winner for best paint job. Drum roll. Okay, uh, last one easily. That was like the level, like the quality level on that was just such a massive jump. Like that's not, that's not even comparable. Last one easy wins best paint job. The winner of the best paint job, as well as five hundred dollars, is Overcome Life with his oh. flawless paint job of the Mage Guild two-handed sword marine. Okay, with that does look really good. Uh, that's a tough one because like it like from a like technical perspective, it looks great, but I feel like that last one that he showed, the one with like that, that was just such another level in terms of like the quality and like the amount of work and effort put into it, and just like you know, it's like going above and beyond. But I guess some of that you could argue is not just the paint job; it's the other stuff. Winking off your brightest colors and then juicing them all over your model might look kind of interesting, but it doesn't necessarily make it a good job. Overcome Life might not have the most unique or eye-catching work, but the fact that he has absolutely nailed a vast array of painting techniques without making any of them feel forced is masterclass. His metal looks raw and real, and the bone looks weathered. His armor is scratched and battle-worn, like the man has used paint to simulate the illusion of paint chips. What the fuck? His base is subtle yet incredibly well done, and the obvious standout is that glow effect on his sword. I don't even know how you would do that. All of these combined with some goddamn near perfect edge highlighting makes Overcome Life a deserving winner. So what about the most creative paint job? Well, I certainly got a lot of interesting paint jobs, but a lot of them were kind of shit. Whether <laughs> not matching or just refusing oh to God. paints. The creative Jesus Christ, man! If like, if I, I, I again like. Who sends those in and is like, yeah, I'm going to win, bro? At least you're confident, guy. Like, wh whoever sent those in, at least you're confident. Category was looking bleak. Until Panzer Cake came in with his cyberpunk oh, space that looks elf really death cool. The classic space elf death lord looks like this. Grim and bony. The image of death incarnate. So for Panzer Cake to go for the polar opposite theme, yeah, it's like still the making neon, it incredibly vibey like, yeah. and aesthetic was very impressive. 
It certainly helps. Yeah, the... it's like neon, like vaporwave, cyberpunk. Right? It's just, yeah, it's really cool looking. Painting quality is outstanding as well. And for the final category, the best kit bash. I was stuck between two entries. Coincidentally, both of them had a lot to do with Stonehenge. Okay, so now we're, are we going to find out what this kit bash means? Brady, and then there was this one by David. Both dudes, or maybe dudettes, who knows these days, swapped out hands and helmets of the model. It's like Oh, okay, so that's what Kip Ash means. Basically, you're taking like different models and like putting them together. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know enough about models to comment on, like which models specifically to comment on, uh, you know, the modifications or anything, so. We can join twins who were separated at birth, but still maintain some telepathic connection. Both models also serve to show how modular the Major Kill Minis are. You can take bits and pieces from other model companies, like, let's say, I don't know, I can't think of one off the top of my head, and easily combine it with a Major Kill Mini. As for who I am giving it to, it was tough, but I'm gonna have to give it to David. His kit bash is a little more seamless. He added a custom base, and his paint job and overall kit bash selection is more aesthetic. Huge thank you to everyone who supported me through grabbing a Major Kill Mini over the last few years. I'm proud of each and every model, and it's a genuine highlight of my day seeing people send over their models all painted up and ready to go. Even though this competition is over, keep sending your paint jobs. I've got big plans for the minis in the future, including getting a way prettier website, having custom currencies depending on where you're from, and working to get costs down even further. For the Shark Crew pre-orders, they're currently in production and I aim to get them sent out in a week or two. I just need some shit to arrive first. But if you are impatient and have a 3D printer, their files will be uploaded to the Major Kill STL pack, which has the STL files for all the Major Kill minis, supported and unsupported. If you've already bought that, then you'll get an email with a free update for all the new minis that have been added. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some sexy ass paint jobs and congratulations to the winners. This was a bit of a test and it went great, so I'll have more competitions with bigger cash prizes on the horizon. So in the meantime, make sure you paint your minis. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Man, that was, that was honestly really cool. Some of those were really well done. I just, I need to know more about the My Little Pony guy and whether he was serious or taking the piss. Um, yeah, because like, that's... odd to say the least but like if it's a joke and it's supposed to be a joke i'm on board if it's supposed to be serious uh you know dude needs to see a psychiatrist before he ends up becoming the next chris chan uh but anyway let me know what you think below like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one